everyone welcome to yellow class so you are in session with nandutama and we are going to have fun today yes so all of you are ready okay yes and excited yes excited for learning yes something new and we are going to have fun with numbers yes so today's session is on numbers right and you know what are we going to do today we are going to see various ways in which we can measure a thing yes okay so we will learn lot of things around that topic right okay all right so everybody be ready with your scales or rulers yes okay because this we are going to need to know how to read our scale or how we can measure any object with the help of a ruler yes in so in today's session we will learn two parts right one would be in which we would learn that how we can roughly estimate a length yes what do i mean by that is uh, for example i say that uh, okay my this crayon set it may be roughly 5 cm okay so just by uh, my estimation or my approximation i am just telling it i am not measuring it okay i am not putting a ruler over it and i am not going to check its length right so there are various other ways also which we are going to discuss yes and then we are going to see that how we can get the exact length yes using some measuring tool so there could be uh, different tools also but yes in today's session we are going to use our scale right so you can also keep some objects with you two or three objects which you of the uh, for measuring the length of those objects right anything it could be like you can take uh, your pencil yes your notebook you are also ha you are having so one is notebook one is pencil and other you can take an eraser so you are already having three of them with you right and additionally you need one ruler that's it so we can measure and we can note down the length of these objects right and then once we get comfortable with it then we will see some questions around it yes how we can use this information or this uh, knowledge about uh, the length of any object okay right all right so all of us are ready to begin yes so give a big thumbs up to me yes or a heart if all of you are happy and ready to go all right so first we will start with the estimation method so just imagine those days when there was not any ruler there was not any measuring tape at that time how people were used to measure the things right for example if they have to build a house so how will they calculate or how will they measure the length of the wooden planks yes or if they have to uh, prepare a cloth for somebody so how they are going to measure the cloth yes right and so likewise there are there could be many situations right in which we need to measure the length okay so today we are going to talk about only the measurement of the length of an object right so yes the measurement it could be of the length it could be of capacity and it could be of weight also right yes so today we are going to cover about the length right so how can i measure it some of the ways you know i have seen myself in my house yes sometimes my mother is doing that sometimes my grandma mom was doing it but have you ever noticed something like if i need to 
let's say measure the length of something imagine this is a wooden plank okay if i need to measure how long it is so what can i do is i can use my hand and you know what we call it we call a hand span what is a hand span hand span is the distance from your tip of your thumb to the tip of your little finger okay so from this point to this point so how will i show it on any object it is like i'll put my thumb here and till what end my little finger is going okay this is my one hand span can you see well, i'll show you this way so this is my one hand span right starting from the tip of my little finger to the tip of my thumb this is my one hand span and if i need to measure again so see this is one this is two so this ruler is little bit smaller than my two hand spans and you know practically if i'll tell you my experience where i have seen is hand span is whenever you know uh, my mom even i do with my children on these days if we don't know the size of a t-shirt yes of any person then if it's not mentioned let's imagine if it's not mentioned on the on that particular t-shirt or at times you know the uh, the size of the of the t-shirt it it differs for various brands yes so what is a standard way of doing it <laughs> you know yes so what i used to do and even my mom used to do was i just measure the length of the t-shirt with the with the help of my hand span <laughs> yes so that way my hand will with this i will be able to know when i go to market and my kid is not along with me so i'll just check with my hand span that okay i need two and a half so yes this length is two and a half this particular t-shirt so it will definitely fit yes so similarly it could be used for length it could be used for breadth also okay so one is this hand span yeah but yes okay for these estimation techniques i will tell you some of its limitations also right but let's first understand so this is first method right the other method could be your foot yes okay so foot i can't show you on the screen here but for foot also it's like the tip of your uh, thumb toe yes to the end of your heel okay so that becomes your entire <coughs> foot length okay so something which you want to like measure the length of the tiles in your room so with your foot span you can do that right so one we have done hand span thumb to the little finger and another we have done the foot span which is from the toe finger tip of the thumb to the end of the heel right okay the other one there is one more which is there called the forearm length yes so what is forearm length you know it starts with your elbow and it goes till the middle of your finger tip this is okay so it starts from here and it ends to the elbow so this entire your forearm length okay yes from tip of your middle finger to the tip of your elbow so this entire is your forearm so this also can be used for estimation of length yes for the longer objects right see this is the longest among the other two methods that we have done just now right so an object which is quite long like something like <coughs> length of a maybe a bed sheet yes so that could be measured with the help of this or it could be like a length of some fencing yes something like that which is quite big in size so that can be measured with the help of the forearm right okay now there is one more which is also used at times it is the distance from your nose to the other hand tip 
Yes. Okay. So like when we put, uh, 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 we, we use bow and arrow. Yes. So at that time. Okay. So that can also be used like a, a distance from your nose to the tip of your the middle finger and then your hand is fully stretched out straight. Okay, so that distance can also be used. Okay, so now let's just quickly revise what all methods we have seen. We have done four methods of estimation. Yes, the smallest one was the, you can say the maybe the hand span. Yes, second will be the foot span. Third would be the forearm, right? And it would be from your nose to the tip of your hand, which is fully stretched out, okay? Like this. If I fully stretch my this right hand, so wherever my fingertip is till that point to my nose, that distance. Okay, so these are the methods which can be used when we don't have any measuring instrument with us yes but let's see <coughs> what are the limitations of these methods the limitations are that if there is a uh, one object right then the hand span of nandita and the hand span of let's say my uh, my friend neha okay so hand span of nandita and hand span of neha would be different isn't it yes because all of all of the human beings are little bit different from each other yes so it may be same or it may not be same so hand span will be same for one particular body yes but it will differ from one person to another so if i am measuring a uh, one sheet of paper Yes, so its measurement for Nandita would be different from the hand span and it would be different for Neha for the same paper. Yes, for maybe for me, it would be two hand spans or just imagine if I'll tell you to measure it with your hand span. For the little children, it might come to be three hand spans. Yes, but the paper is of same length. Okay, so that is one of the limitations of the of using these estimation techniques but yes the main advantage is if you don't have any standard tool along with you then yes it can be <coughs> used okay all right so now let's go on to our standard method right which is we are going to use today the scale okay we are going to use this for measuring the length of various objects right so there are two different ways of doing it. And we are going to see both of these methods, right? How we are going to do it. Okay. So first of all, before going forward to that, we should know the unit in which we are going to measure it. Yes. See, the earlier methods of estimation, they were not standard methods. Yes but we have some standard methods to measure the length. Yes, standard means the, for example, if I say the length of this crayon box, yes, if everyone is having this crayon box, then for each one of us, the length would remain the same. Yes, using this ruler. Yes, and if its units are same, right? So what are the units we are going to see today? The unit is centimeters right? <coughs> Today, we are going to measure all the objects in centimeters. Okay, right? All right. So now let's move to workstation and see how can we measure the length of various objects. So for this, definitely we need a ruler. So see, I am using the, it starts from zero and this is going up to 30, yes? So I'm using a big ruler, see, right? Okay, so let's see which side we need to use. We need to read it. So on one side of a ruler, you have these smaller markings, right? Zero, this where CM is written zero, 
this is zero then this is one two three four like this okay and see on the other side if i'll turn it around see these gaps are so huge one two three and it is written here inches right so this side is for measuring in inches and this side is for measuring in centimeters right so we are going to use this side today okay so now let's see zero to one this is one centimeter one to two is another centimeter okay and it will keep on going now let's understand what are these small small lines in this right so one between this one and two this line in middle it represents half of it so that means 1.5 yes for example if i check for this one so between 5 and 6 it is 5.5 right and these small small markings between 5 and 6 are 10 in number and each represents 1 mm what it represents 1 millimeters it represents 1 millimeters okay all these 10 small markings between 5 and 6 and 5 represents 5 centimeter 6 here represents 6 centimeter okay now let's see how will i measure the length of any object so if i need to measure shall i keep something like this my ruler anywhere no to measure the length what will we do we always place the zero of my ruler towards the edge of one side like this okay and so we can do this way also right so from zero to what see it's matching with 10 yes so the length of this color box is 10 centimeter right so this way we can measure the length of any of the objects for example if i am having this pen so how will i measure i will keep the tip of this pen to zero and then i will check its length towards the end see it starts from zero it is a little bit long so it is reaching till 22 so this is 22 centimeter long okay now this is the method which we are using in which we are starting from zero right for example if i have something and i keep my ruler like this which doesn't start with zero so does it mean that i can't measure its length no it doesn't mean that so see it starts from 8 and it ends at 19 correct so what are we going to do we are going to subtract these two numbers 8 and 19 so bigger number on the top so we'll subtract 8 from 19 so this length would be 11 centimeter okay similarly let's see if this is the small car if i place it over here like this so let's keep it this way so it starts from 10 and it goes up to 14 right approximately so what will be the length 48 minus 10 it will be 4 centimeter okay so this way we can measure the length let's come to the main screen okay children so we have seen two methods one in which we are always starting the measurement from zero and the another way is in which we are starting the length from any other value other than zero right okay now let's do some questions on our screen so for this i'm going to share my slide so everyone is able to see this so we are going to read now length starting with zero 
okay <coughs> so everybody be ready and you are going to write your answers in the chat box right quickly i know this is going to be very easy for all of you so everybody be ready for that yes okay so the length of scissor is all right so in order to find it accurately you know what we can do is we can draw a straight line also okay something like this touching the tip okay so for this also if we will draw a straight line then it will be much more clear to us see so it is starting from 0 to 9 so it is 9 cm well done okay so from the both the ends from it their tips if we will just draw these standing lines that will make it very easy for us to estimate the lengths okay <coughs> now first let's do this one the length of the pen how much it is yes write your answers in the chat box so that i can see who all are doing it and very very fast yes so it starts from 0 ends at 3 so it is 3 cm yes it is 3 cm now the length of crayon already some of you have written the answer that's great so from 0 to 5 so it is 5 cm good job let's see what next length of this coloring brush okay so we are going to omit this paint and we are going to take up till this point now how much it is right but quickly quickly yes so it is just you have to browse your eyes from 0 to see the other end from one end to another end and you will get your answer yes okay so it is 15 very good and i want answers from all of you okay not only few in fact all of you all right now for this color palette what is its length write down in the comments in your chat box yes it is 14 you know children one thing why we are saying here about this much centimeter because you know in like when i was measuring the car so its ends are a little bit curvy yes they are not pointed so there it is not we cannot measure it to the exact point yes that is why we are saying uh, about yes or it is also little bit approximation not the exact one okay okay the length of this device looks like a remote yes so what is the length of this see what i've so i'm talking the these curves are there usually at the ends okay but from the flat surface we are going to put a straight line and then we are going to put it and while writing your answers do write centimeters cm after that yes everyone hmm. i want everyone to be very um uh, <coughs> vigilant by for writing the units yes in these chapters you know geometry and the measurement writing the units and the end is very very important you can lose marks mm. okay so we should be careful about that so how much it is it is 1 3 13 cm great good okay ready for the next one everyone all right what about the length of the red book and see there is a ruler which is being kept and now the ruler is kept inclined 
but will it make any difference no okay so along the length of the book we have put the ruler and we can measure it also so how much it is so read it on the scale yes so it starts from something like this so it is all approximation to the children okay so it is almost either we can say it is between 14 and 15 yes so 14.5 or if i have to be round off so i can say 15 also right in the whole numbers next one hmm so width of the basketball how much it is read the scale quickly quickly keep on typing with the units yes it is 20 20 cm very good so starts from 0 ends at 20 so it is 20 20 cm good <coughs> this rectangle has a length of dash cm so what is the length hmm fingers are moving fast yes now great so it is 16 16 okay so this is the length which is here we have talked about what will be the length of this side children yes this opposite side where i have written a and b what will be the length of ab yes do you know the properties of rectangle well this length is also 16 cm yes the opposite sides of rectangle are equal yes and two long sides and two short sides good what is the height of this monkey mm -hmm. yes <coughs> yes it is 1818 good all right so before we move on to this topic next one right what i want everyone is to quickly measure the length of your notebook yes and your pencil and write that in your notebook okay so i am giving you few seconds for that quickly do that everyone yes first notebook with the help of the ruler which you are having right okay write it down in the centimeters and now check the length of your pencil and note it down in your notebook great done everybody okay and if you want you can write in the chat also and you know after the session what everyone is going to do note down you are going to measure your height okay you are going to measure your height just write down this in your notebooks so use a measuring tape yes and note down your height in centimeters in your notebook yes done the third point done also measure the length of any table center table or dining table yes or your study table so you can write whatever length you are measuring is it study table center table right and the last one approximately we are going to write for your eraser okay so these are the five <coughs> things for which all of you are going to write their length in centimeters in your notebooks yes and afterwards you are going to click the picture and send it to us okay now after this we will see the second method okay when the when we are going to measure the length but it doesn't start with zero right now let's see if this is a which shape is this a rectangle shape and if i say that tell me the length of the side the long side so what will be the length how will i do i will read the first point 
and the second point is 8. So I will subtract these numbers, okay? 8 minus 2, which is 6. I can write it like, as like this also, horizontally or vertical, right? So the length of the side of a rectangle is, it is 6 centimeters. What about this one? Quickly right now in the comment, in the chat box. Yes, the starting is 4, ending is 7. So we will do end point minus start point. Okay, so here we can write it as, okay, Let's write the full form. Very good. Okay. Yes, many answers are coming in. That's nice. So it is three centimeters. Okay. Now, what is the length of the side which is colored red for this triangle, for this rectangle? <coughs> so, for this, what are we going to do? Write the answers, yes, if you already know. Quickly write it down. Yes. So, first we will see the length which is touching the ruler, right? So, 2 and 14. So, we are going to subtract 2 from 14 and I'll get 12, right? And as I said earlier, if this side is 12, then this side is also going to be 12 because they are opposite sides, yes? And opposite side of rectangle are equal. So answer is 12 centimeter. <coughs> so this is a little bit tricky, okay? Just let's listen. The four pencils of same length are placed end to end. What will be the length of four such pencils together? So see, this is pencil one. Okay. So this is a pencil. And what we are saying is that just after this, again, I'm putting one more pencil of same length. Then after this, I'm putting one more pencil. And similarly, one more pencil. Okay. So total one. Two, three, four pencils I am putting end to end, right? So you have to tell us that what will be the total length? What would be this? Total length. Yes. So for this, what should we do? First of all, we should find out the length of one pencil. And what is the length of one pencil? See? 4 and 14. Yes. So what it will be? 14 minus 4, which becomes 10 centimeters. That means the length of one pencil is 10. Right? See here. This is how we can do. I have put the one pencil. See, it starts with 4 and ending with 14. Okay. So if the same length, I'll keep on putting. Right? Yes, same pencil if I'll place it like this. So this something like this arrangement will come. Okay. <coughs> so now children see there are two ways of doing it. Yes. The first way could be that I, if I have found out, if I'm finding the length of one pencil, which is 10. Okay. So I know that this is 10. This is 10. This is also 10 and this is 10. Okay, so 4 times 10 is 40 centimeter. Okay, or the other way is if I'll show you like this, it starts from 4 and this ends at 44. So 44 minus 4 is also 40 centimeter. Okay, but doing this way is most convenient, easy and error free method. Okay, because we know I have one pencil and I'm putting four pencils of equal lengths. So that would be 10 plus 10 
plus 10 plus 10, 4 times 10, which will give me answer as 40, right? Like we put at times the toy cars one after the other or the blocks one after the others. Yes, or anything, yes, which, I, which we are placing end to end, yes, where the ends are in contact. All right, so simple addition and a repeated addition is multiplication. Hmm. Now the quiz time. Yes, so everybody is ready for that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so today the poll questions will be coming on your screens, right? Yes, the question will be here on the screen. I will read the question. You can see the picture. And for marking your answers, the options will appear on your screen. And you can then mark your answers. Huh? Give a thumbs up. Yes, all set. Okay, great. So let's go and see our first question. Good, here it comes. Look at this picture. Okay. Now, here is the question. In the given square, what is the length of the side colored red? Option A, 9 centimeter, or option B, 10 centimeters. So have a look, calculate it, and see what could be the answer. Yes, done everyone. Okay, now here are the options coming on your screen. So now mark your answers. Will it be option A, 9 centimeters or option B, 10 centimeters? Yes, we are going to see the length of the colored side of a square. Good. Okay, almost everyone has answered, great. Let's check out the answer. Answer for this is option B, 10 centimeter. Yes, why children? Because here we need to know about the properties of square. All the sides of a square are equal, yes? So, if I know one side of a square, which is adjoining to this ruler, so it is 10. So that means all other sides are also 10 centimeters. Yes. Okay, great. Here is, so let's see the next question. Look here, everyone. <laughs> what is given here? The four pencils. And along with that, there are some rulers also given to them, given to us. Right? Let's see the question. Here is the question. What is the sum of length of shortest and longest pencil in the given picture. So quickly see which is the shortest and which is the longest pencil in this picture. Write down their lengths and then add them up. Okay. So read it carefully with the picture. Good, everyone. Yes. Done. Calculated. Seen. Now, here comes the options on your screen and mark your answers. Yes, quickly. Now, the answer is there in your hands, right? Yes. Good, everyone. Be fast. Great. Okay, the answer for this is option B, 10 centimeters. Yes, how? Let's see. The shortest side, the shortest pencil is which one? One, two, three, four. Which is the shortest? The first one is shortest. And which is the longest? The second one is the longest. What are their lengths? The shortest one is two centimeters 
and the longest one is 8 centimeters. So 2 plus 8 is 10 centimeters, right? Good. Let's see the next question now. Okay, now the same set of pencils are there which were there in the previous question. Have a look once again. But the, the question will be different. Okay, let's see. The question says the sum of length of pencil 1 and pencil 3 is. So you just need to add up the length of pencil 1 and pencil 3. So quickly do that. It is going to be, I think, a little bit easy for all of you. What do you say? Yes? Write that value in your notebook so that you won't get confused. Yes? Just write that answer, that, write that number. Okay, now the options are coming on your screen. Here are the options. Now mark your answers. Yes. So the sum of length of pencil 1 and pencil 3 is option A, 4 centimeter or option B, 5 centimeter. So let's see the answer now. Answer for this is option B, 5 centimeters. How? See, in the length of pencil 1 is 2 centimeters and the length of pencil 3 is 3 centimeters. So if I'll add 2 plus 3 will give me answer as 5 centimeters, right? Okay, so all set for the next one. All right, so here we go. Here is the question. Look here. You have to tell... <coughs> the length of above rectangle. So quickly see and calculate it and write it on your notebooks. What will be the length of this rectangle? Yes, find it out. You know how to do it, yes? Okay, so here are the options. The length of above rectangle or the given rectangle is option A, 11 centimeter or option B, 9 centimeter. Quickly mark your answers. Yes, everyone, don't leave any question. Yes, mark your answers. Okay, great. Last few seconds left. So the correct answer for this is option B, 9 centimeters. How? See, we know we need to do end point minus start point. So end point is 11 and the start point is 2. So 11 minus 2 will give me 9 as an answer. Okay, so the answer is 9. All right. So here is the next question. Ooh, snakes. Let's see what is the question. A snake was 35 centimeters long. Now it is 67 centimeters long. How much did the snake grow? So Here comes the question on your screen also. A snake was 35 centimeters long. Now it is 67 centimeter long. How much did the snake grow? Option A, 22 centimeters or option B, 32 centimeters. <coughs> so just find out what we need to do in such cases, yes? Mark your answers, yes. You can use pen and paper to get your answers and then first quickly mark your answers, right? Okay, very good. Last few seconds, everyone. 
Pack up, yes, do it fast. Okay, let's see the answer. Answer for this is option B, 32. Oh, hmm, almost. We are getting B answers this time. Yes, so what we need to do? We need to subtract, right? 67 minus 35. So we will get 32 centimeters, yes? So with this, we have finished our polls. And we are going to stop sharing. Now, a big clap for everyone. Yes, for your nice, nice performance, isn't it? So, how was it, everyone? Easy? <coughs> Did you enjoy? Yes. So, today we learned about how can we estimate the length. Hmm? Hand span, foot span, forearm length, tip to elbow, and from nose to your fingertip. Yes. And we also learned about how can we measure the length of any object using our ruler. Okay. In fact, if you want, you can use a similar way the inch tape also or the measuring tape also. Yes. So start from zero, go, and first of all, always take the centimeter side, right? The smaller gaps one. And keep your object from zero and then to the other end, just read that number. Or in case, if we don't have the object starting from zero, then also we know how to read its length. Yes, we can subtract the end point from the end point and start point, and we can get the length of that object. Yes, and you have we have done some questions also in which the objects are are kept one after another. Yes, end to end, right? So that also we can do now all right okay so now everyone i hope you have made a note of it so you are going to share with me the five yes the measurement of five objects right so note it down in your notebooks click a picture and share with us you know how to do that go to your yellow class app go to the feed option and upload your picture yes choose the session name and share your feedback also with us about the session. And now your posts can be seen by your friends. They can like it. And if you want your more friends to join Yellow Class along with you, then refer them with your unique referral code. Yes, and ask them to basically join with your unique referral code. By referring more friends, you can get a chance to win exciting prizes from Yellow Class. Yes, so keep learning. And keep sharing your work with your friends. Yes? All right. So now the time is for our yellow class tip of the day. Today's tip is that plan your day in advance. Yes. And take out the time for <coughs> different activities. Right? Like you should have some time for playing. Definitely. Then you should have some time for your hobby also. Yes. Okay. So it could be like art and craft. It could be music. It could be some number games, some logical reasoning. Yes. Anything. Listening to music or then some time for your homework. That is also important for your schoolwork. Some time for talking or chit chat. Some time for just going out for a, uh, for a walk with the parents. Do some gardening. Yes. So there could be so many activities, right? But, you know, when we don't plan, what we do? We just do maybe our classes or we just lie down. We are only sleeping some days. We are only eating some days. Some days we are maybe only studying some days, right? So we should not let that happen to us. We should plan our day in advance and we should keep little, little time for, for at least six, seven activities in a day. Yes. So that way, we will fully utilize our time and we will feel energetic by learning so many different, different things, right? Okay. So with that, we will say bye-bye. Yes. And we'll meet again in the next session, children. Take care. Keep learning with Yellow Class.